Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back. Is it too late to plant potatoes in May or even June? Well, today on Nile Gardens, I've got the answer to that. Plus, I'm going to show you why growing potatoes in containers and potato bags is the key to getting those successful late plantings. And of course, harvests. We're all used to buying our seed potatoes really nice and early in the year, around January or February, and then chitting them ahead of a March planting. But what if you haven't had a chance? Or what if you've managed to bag yourself some bargain seed potatoes at a knockdown price? Is it too late to plant them now? Well, you might be pleased to know the answer. No, it is not too late. Okay, so confession time. I haven't got my potatoes planted yet. And I don't mean just a few of them. I mean all of them. This year, I've been going with what I'm going to call the Nile Gardens chitting method, also known as setting my potatoes out to chit in February and leaving them sitting in their box in my office until now, which is mid-May, literally right now. But do you see me panicking? No way. And that's because when it comes to planting potatoes and working out when is too late, there are two things to think about. The variety of potato, along with your desired harvest time, and your first frost date. And here's why. When it comes to potatoes, there are pretty much three main types to consider. First earlies, which take about 10 to 12 weeks to mature. They're nice and quick. Second earlies that take just that little bit longer, about 14 to 16 weeks to mature. And of course, main crop varieties, which take another little bit longer, 16 to 22 weeks before they mature into a harvest. So you can see that depending on the potato you choose, it's going to directly affect how quickly you get a crop. So if you wanted to get a crop really early this year, you probably have missed the boat for this year. But equally, you can see that even if you plant an early variety of potato now, you're not gonna have that long to wait until harvest time. Let's talk about last frost date, and that's because frosts will essentially end your potato growing season by killing the potato plants off. We're all used to looking up and remembering our last frost date so that we know when to plant out our tender plants. But if you find out and remember when your first frost date is, in the autumn or in the winter, you can work back the number of weeks that it takes for your potato plants to mature. Then you can decide whether there's still time to get your potatoes planted and get a harvest. Where I am here in Ireland, our first frost date is about mid-November, so I know that I should I should be able to comfortably plant my main crop potatoes, not only this month, but next month too. I'm growing three types of potato this year. A first early that's called Solist, a second early that's called Nicola, and my all-time fave spud, Pink Fur Apple, which is a main crop variety. This year, I'm growing all of my potatoes in bags and containers, rather than last year when I grew them in my raised beds. And the reason for that? Well, there's actually a load of great reasons to be using containers like pots or potato bags to grow your potatoes. For starters, there's no digging, so it's easier on the soil and it's easier on your body. I found that out last year to my cost. It's quicker to harvest by emptying a container than having to dig and dig at the soil. You don't risk slicing through your precious harvest of potatoes. Yep, I did that last year too. You don't end up with unwanted leftovers, and I'm talking about those potatoes that you missed digging up last year that have now taken up residence in your beds. I am looking across at last year's potato bed, and I can see about half a dozen doing that right now. You can maximise your growing space because you can tuck potato bags and potato pots into unused corners and spots in your garden, even if it's not your veg garden. There is, of course, a reduced chance of pests like wireworm, which is always a bonus. And as if that wasn't enough, bags and pots enable you to grow potatoes even if you don't have a garden because they're gonna grow perfectly well in a yard or sitting on a balcony. But the biggest reason of all when we're talking about growing potatoes late in the season is the ability to control the conditions that your potatoes are growing in. So let's get planting and I'll explain a bit more. 
Now we're on to the really fun bit, which is actually planting up our potatoes. And whether you're choosing to grow them in bags like this, or pots or containers like this, the procedure is the same, and it is pretty much foolproof. It's just so simple. All you need to do is take your choice of growing medium like this and start to fill each container. Now, where you're wanting to fill it to is about 15 centimeters deep, which I suppose is about this deep, or about a third of the depth of the container itself. Once you've done that, you're gonna have a nice bed upon which you can set your potatoes and they can start growing from there. Now, I am not going to claim to be a potato container growing expert or in fact, a potato growing expert, full stop. I'm gonna to defer to people like Liz Zorab, Hugh Richards, and of course, Tony O'Neill. They all have their own ways for growing potatoes, but certainly I know that Tony O'Neill recommends only putting about two to three potatoes in each container, or four if you're gonna stagger them. So what I would do is I would take two potatoes, put one here and one here, and then start to add a little bit more compost on top of them. Once you've got that next layer of compost in, just covering the potatoes and just covering the sprouts, and of course, be careful that you don't damage those sprouts as you are putting that growing medium in, then you can add another couple of potatoes if you want to go to as many as four. But just remember, if you've put two this way, the next two that you want to put in are gonna be this way. So if you were looking down on top of them, it's as though You've got four in each corner. Pop them in and we're very nearly done. But before we're done, I wanna talk about why I really think that these containers are great when it comes to controlling your growing conditions. This really is the best bit about growing potatoes in containers. We all live in different climates that have different first frost dates and different severities of cold. But if you can provide your potato plants with shelter and a frost-free environment, then of course you can extend their growing season. Something that, let's face it, is pretty difficult, if not impossible to do when you're growing them outside in beds. So if you plant your potatoes really, really late and they're a main crop, and it looks like frosts are going to kick in before you've had a chance to get a harvest, all you need to do is simply move your containers, bring them into the shelter of a wall, or even better, a nice covered growing space like a polytunnel or a greenhouse, and that's gonna help you eke out those extra few weeks that you need. Then you can enjoy all those glorious potatoes. So now that we've got our potatoes in place, there's really only one more thing to do, but there are two choices available to you in how you do that, and it's all about covering them with more compost. First option, is that you cover your potatoes with about another 10 to 15 centimeters of compost, give it a water and let them start to grow. What that means though, is the shoots will quite quickly start to poke above the surface of the compost. When that happens, then it's time to earth them up, just as you would earth up potatoes in a raised bed. Gently cover around those shoots and up and over them just until they're only just poking out of the compost and then let them grow again and continue to do that process. Over the next couple of months, that soil level or that compost level then is going to continue to climb up and up and up until you reach the top of the bag. And then all you need to do is continue to let the plants grow. But if that's all a bit too much effort for you and you don't feel like coming back and forth to the bag, checking them and earthing them up, what you can do is you can just take the remainder of your compost and fill the bag up to the top. The plants are going to grow away perfectly well and when you think about it, because you're dealing with a bag and not open space, this is going to be the maximum that you can earth it up anyway. So that's your second option. Once you've got your containers filled with your compost, your potatoes on top and covered with more compost, that's you basically done. All you need to do is pick a place for your containers to go where they can grow away, give them a really good water and then make sure to keep them watered as they're growing and that's all there is to it. So if you haven't planted up your spuds yet, don't delay, but at the same time, don't despair. Get them planted up now, and chances are you're going to have a really nice crop of tasty homegrown potatoes at the same time as I do this year. But if you want to see how my potato growing went last year, when I grew them in raised beds rather than in containers, then check out this video here. And of course, until next time, see you later.